Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is once again Fighting Spirit Mania. Upper right in corner, we have DeWalt starting as the green Protoss. Upper left in corner, we have Bonus starting as the peach Protoss. DeWalt is up in the set score 2-1. to one. He needs to win two more sets to push it to a, another set of seven. If Bonneth can come back and score, uh, how many sets does he need? So you need, it's a best of seven sets, right? So you need to win four sets to, to advance it. So DeWalt still has to win two more sets. Bonneth can win it if he gets three sets in a row. Is that right? Does he need to get the next three sets? It's not do or die yet. Next set, it's do or die. Then Bonneth would, yeah, it's hard. It's, the math. They say never do the math live, but anyway. Uh, I will say it almost feels like the momentum in the last few games has moved a little bit more to, towards DeWalt's favor. We'll see if that holds. The other curiosity I have is, is clearly these games were not played. I, I honestly wonder where the breaks were, because there's no way they played however many, like potentially nearly 100 games on just a weekend, right? Um, I also actually wonder how that affects build order processing. Interesting placement of the gateway, I want to say, here for Dwalt this time around. I'm wondering if he's thinking about sneaking tech, because he's put that gateway pretty far. This definitely leads me to believe for sure he's going to go for a Dragoon opener, but I almost am curious if he's going to try to skip initial Zealot with that gateway positioning. A little bit more of a... Actually, a little bit of a... Usually, it's a little bit further down for Bonneth. I don't think Bonneth is... Yeah, he's already gone Assimilator as well. Interestingly enough. Actually, it's kind of curious that the one thing I always feel... I love these because with high-level players playing against one another, I feel like there's always stuff to learn. And I find it interesting how much I'm just kind of able to glean by even the early... Uh, just kind of absorb just by early gateway positionings between these guys and how much that's a factor. Cybernetics for warping. I will say I've heard from some players that this is a bit dangerous, where there is a world where players can go... Nexus in uh, Nexus Forge into expansion. You're go if you're going one gate in expansion or something along those lines. Sometimes the Forge drop means a uh, probe can get in here and seal it in and start probing, doing the probe stuff. In the back lines. Second piling up. We do have a preventative zealot on this side. We do have the present preventative zealot on the other side. So forget the uh, earlier suggestion I made. Bottom left hand corner scout for Bonneth. A little bit of a longer scout there for Dewalt. Just wanted to check mid map. Zealot is in position on both sides, so neither player are going to be able to get the initial information. It's kind of another factor of, and I'm wondering if this is, I, I am curious in the realm of map evolution as well, Fighting Spirit Mania, there, or in Fighting Spirit, there's a lot of situations where this is the case, where information gets denied. I'm wondering how often that ends up the case on more modern map sets. Range being upgraded for the vault, Bonneth is going to skip range and get an early robotics facility. We'll see if this turns into one gate observer into Robo, or if he's into, but more likely, I well, we'll see if it ends up being Robo Observer, Observer Robo. Uh, I think Bonneth, especially at this level, and especially respecting the danger of DT more often than not, will in fact open up Observer just to be cautious. Probe takes a hit, doesn't even lose shields, making its way back. Bonneth. We, so actually, yeah, I think he's definitely going to go Observer first because he's not even bothering moving that probe top right, recognizing he wasn't going to be able to get the additional scouting information. We have one gate Robo on the opposite side, so Dwalt's going to be up range, but the tech's going to be a little bit slower. So Bonneth's robotic facility finishes. He's going to have Dragoons able to hold the high ground. He's checking out the 12 o'clock. Is this going to turn into a uh, rush? Because last time I saw Bonneth, place an early defensive pylon here at the 12 o'clock location. It was for aggression purposes. We have a robotic support bay in the corner. I'm wondering if this is going to go support bay. Are we going to have the ops? Okay, we do have the observatory follow-up. But I'm wondering if this is going to turn into a two-gate follow-up and after the robo is out on the map. Especially with this probe hanging out here at the 12 o'clock and placing this pylon just to see if anything's moving in position that direction. In the meantime, DeWalt fanning out we have speed upgrading here for Bana. And we do have, is it gonna be the Observer or just straight into Reaver is the next question here. We have the Observer in between the Reaver production. And second gateway down for DeWalt in the meantime. So, and DeWalt also putting some pylons to the corners, putting the Observatory at an odd position, bottom right to potentially hide that tech for in case an Observer is making its way in for a longer period of time. I have a feeling this is two gate Observer into expansion here for DeWalt. 
Bonneth certainly going for more of the aggressive stance with the shuttle speed. It's going to be a minute before that comes online. Still has not upgraded Dragoon range as far as I can tell, by the way. Observer making its way out onto the map. The shuttle going to go ahead and press forward to check whether that expansion is there or not. Sees nothing. And is going to make its way back. Also, Bonneth, bonus for Bonneth, which is nice alliteration, is that he didn't... None of the tech was revealed, so he did in that process reveal that, oh hey, there's a shuttle out in the map, which means there's a robotics opener. So, still could surprise DeWalt with uh, the initial robo play. So, two zealots scooping up. So, it's going to be two zealots and a reaver. No second gateway, so probably an expansion behind this. And the observer starting to make its way towards the natural. DeWalt is positioning thus far. So, he's got his own robo and observatory. He is positioning thus far as though he wants to go two gate into expansion with that reaver to provide potential support. The Observer sees the shuttle making its way across now, is going to make its way up, see that second gateway just starting, and also that Dragoon range not yet completed. Now, the interesting problem for DeWalt is even seeing this Dragoon range somewhat late doesn't give him an opportunity to really punish this because of that speed shuttle that's now active. DeWalt, recognizing that there was going to be some shuttle aggression making his way back, Nexus not quite up. The Reaver getting some shots off on the Nexus, though. So the Dragoon's making the way to the low ground. But the Dragoon count isn't sizable enough here where it's really going to be able to assault both directions. It's not going to be... Or, or what, I, what I want to say. It's going to be challenging to defend all corners here with that speed because you can move it up. You got the Reaver on the low ground. That's going to be somewhat exposed to Reaver shots. Expansion going up for Bonneth. In the meantime, it is going to be somewhat later. The advantage for DeWalt, though, is if he can hold on, if he can get pretty good spread... With the Reavers. You can see he's leaving three in the main and the Reaver and the Dragoons at the natural expansion. Uh, second gateway is active, but keep in mind that Dragoon range is not active for Bana, so I don't think he wants to take any engagements yet. Second Reaver now scooped up alongside. I'm wondering if he is going to get a little bit more forward aggressive once Dragoon range finishes. He's actually at a 10 supply deficit in the midst of all this. Observer down, which is significant. It looks like a probe took a shot there. That shield battery ooh, getting shredded. So that shield battery getting absolutely crushed by these two Reavers. DeWalt holding back, he doesn't have a massive amount of Dragoons to press into this. And now Bonneth starting to crash down towards that natural expansion is doing some additional shots, has taken some additional damage, on, uh, done additional damage to this pylon. And the Reaver's still sitting along the side and I don't think there's a shuttle to protect out as of yet. Bonneth scrambling a little bit. Keep in mind, he doesn't have an observer in the midst of this. So he's taking the shots, ooh, picks off a Zealot there and gets some good damage on the Dragoons. Another Dragoon picked off, but that, those Reavers stranded. One Reaver dies in the shuttle, and there's still two Reavers left a, alive, so it looks like, because of that lack of observer, the lack of the vision, Bonneth overextends a little bit, and as a result, DeWalt not only able to cap that natural expansion and hold, he's going to end up through the midst of all that with a nearly 20 supply lead as his shuttle's out, and he still has two healthy Reavers on the ground. So now a massive advantage to DeWalt. He can go ahead and tack on two additional gateways, in the midst of this, and Bonneth is way behind. He really needed it. So one problem with investing that early in that style of aggression is, is you really, really, really need to make it work for you. You need to have that investment pay off, and that investment did not pay off for Bonneth this time. And I think a kind of the underestimated, underestimated portion of that is that Observer getting picked off on the corner. It might have been a different story had he been able to field that vision forward a little bit, uh, a little bit easier. On him. Ooh, speaking of observers getting picked off, another observer picked off. But here it's just, what, four Dragoons? Four Dragoons trying to defend this natural expansion. DeWalt not overcommitting to the natural. It looks like Bond is going to preemptively remove. And actually, with this Dragoon Flurry Fire, he's going to be able to take out this Nexus very, very easily. And now, all of a sudden, Bonneth down 20 supply, down a base. And that's probably GG. Maybe with some miracles... It would take an absolute miracle. The Walt actually shoving. I don't think he, he doesn't need to shove in this instance. Uh, still going to apply that pressure. The observer sitting over his side so he can see the units as they're coming in and get the reaver shots on the small gap. DeWalt fanning back out and now setting up kind of a defensive stage. But at this stage, DeWalt, if he wants to, could add two additional gateways and just honestly rally to the natural expansion. A single reaver with that speed shuttle making its way out. Two dragoons at the natural to absorb that because this is the one way Bonneth could get back into it. So nice anticipation here by DeWalt. He's got three Dragoons. Actually, they're in a nice kind of potential crash situation. Bit of micro right there. Trying to get... He has to focus on the 
the probes. Did manage to take out the probes, so all of a sudden, Bonneth ahead, but loses the shuttle, loses the Reaver, calls GG right there because that was his one opportunity to get back in the match. And DeWalt, with some solid defense and some smothering macro, able to take the match in the first game of this fourth set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.